you guys doing? It's Seb here. Welcome back to another episode of PES 2019 and my club, Formation Domination. Now, that's a new series. I did one video last year talking about 343, how to use it, squad builder, gameplay, and which formation is most likely to use to counter 343. In this episode, we're going to talk about 4222. Oh, yeah, 4222. Um, this, this goes towards my club and normal outside my club, whether you play online divisions. Um, on this episode, we're going to talk about 4 Triple Two pros and cons, squad builder, gameplay. Um, we're, talking, we're going to talk about formations as well, which formation to use if you want to counter and beat 4 Triple Two. And those formations, in my opinion, I mean, if you guys don't know, um, as you can see in this photo, these are this is what I do on a live stream. I run three series. One of them was the Pesology series, where I played 400 games live in Division, sacrificing my win ratio to do to, to see things live, like I don't put tips out of my pocket, I gotta play it, I gotta experience it, and talk with the community as well. So in 400 games, we tested every single possible formation on my club with different players, squad builders, and countering the most used formations as well. And now we're doing the maximum effort series on YouTube, which is sticking to a game plan, and we've been consistent, almost hitting 1k, we're close to that. But getting back to this, the most formation to use if you're struggling against 4 triple 2 has to be 4 1 2 3 or 4 2 3 1 or 3 5 2 or 3 4 3. But again, we all play different, we all have different teams. Uh, you gotta know when to do what, which advanced instructions to use against which players, or you just wanna use the advanced instructions to counter the opponent or to um, maintain what your manager kinda lacks to overcome the weakness of your manager. But regardless of that, I'll be, I'll be uh, the next video. I'll be talking about four triple two in more details. I'm gonna be making a video about the top three um, formations and managers on my club. And next video is gonna be about Diego Simeone. So the squad builder is not gonna be much detail in this video because with this with the uh, video about Diego Simeone four triple two, I'll be talking about more into that. Anyway, okay. Now let's talk about squad builder quickly regarding four triple two, and then we're gonna talk about gameplay as well. Now, ideally in 4 triple 2 I've had a lot of success using Diego Simeone on my club. I haven't played normal divisions yet. Ideally, you want to have a tall and strong striker with a fast and mobile. Like, I use Cristiano and Griezmann most of the time, or Cristiano and Messi. Um, and ideally, you want your striker to have a, like a striker card. Goal poacher, target man, uh, fox in the box, dummy runner. But if you don't have it, I'm not saying it doesn't work. But it's more ideal for your striker to make natural runs rather than you forcing one to use passive move or trigger runs. Um, on your flank, it depends how you like to play for triple two. If you like to cross, then your LMF has to be left footed. Like most of the time I use Salah and Mane. If I can break someone down the middle, I put Salah on the left and Mane on the right because they're both gonna be on the side to cross, you know, low cross, high cross, cut back tapping style. So if you're a if you're a crosser, use a left-footed uh, player as a LMF and a right player as a um, RMF. Sorry, left-footed as a LMF and right-footed as a RMF. But if you like to use your LMF and RMF to finish, they have good finishing. Then you know use a right-footed as a LMF and a left-footed as a RMF. Um, regarding your midfield, now your midfield, those two center midfielders is really important. Okay. Don't use players who doesn't track back, especially like, I mean, ideally, you want to use two powerhouses, like someone like Kante, Modric, um, Golovin featured on my club, if you have it. Like, you want to use players who can track back and help the defense. Ideally, with Diego Simeone, I do not use DMF. So if your tactics are aggressive, then you may need a DMF. Otherwise, two natural CMFs, one destroyer, one box-to-box, -box, but make sure the box-to-box -box player has some decent passing. Or you can go with a destroyer and creative playmaker or classic number 10, but he has to be like a complete player, a little bit, you know, a little bit of pace, good dribbling, passing, because you need a good passer in the midfield. And regarding your center backs, you should always have tall and strong uh, center back with a fast and mobile one. For example, um, you can go with Varane Manalas, or you can go with um, Kolobali and Manalas, or uh, Socrates. And um, a lot of tall and strong players doesn't have pace, uh, like someone like uh, PK, for example, or Gooden, the featured one. They may not have a lot of pace, but they do have good positioning, so they don't leave their position often. 
Um, and your fullback, ideally, I mean, right now, if you play any formation that has four defenders, we always use like three CB, three center backs. Like I make one of the fullbacks into a CB because counters are very OP. When you commit with numbers and your opponent just intercepts you and launched a long ball, you're going to get exposed big time. Ideally, you want one fullback to be a little bit defensive um, with high defensive prowess and ball winning. And the other fullback, you want them to be fast with good finishing and dribbling and passing. Or you can just, uh, you do, if you don't like your fullbacks to overlap, you can use defense on both of them. I mean, that's that's the idea. Um, you can do it, especially if you're leading by a couple of goals. You know, if you want to go defensive by advanced instructions, you can simply use defense on both of your fullbacks and advanced instructions wing back. And that will literally turn into something like, you know, I mean, it would be like still 4-4-2, but your LMF and RMF will join back a lot. So you literally will be having four center backs and four midfielders. And that is an option to be more um, defensive. If you want to be more offensive, of course, change your game mentality to red. Uh, man mark your, op your opponent's fullback with your LMF and RMF. Or use counter target on both of your LMF and RMF. That will make you a little bit more offensive. Um, also regarding uh, the gameplay. Now, ideally in the gameplay for Triple Two, again, you got to look for triangles, okay? Now, you can see this triangle between CMF, LMF, and a striker. What do you do here? Don't play too predictable. I mean, the simplest way to play in for Triple Two, really, CMF to LMF, CF, and then pass it to other CF. It's like a triangle with a little line on it, in a way. Uh, th that's the most simplest way if you play direct. CMF, LMF, CF, and then pass it to the other CF, boom, ram it in. Or, want to play a little bit more exciting and more giving your opponent a good game, and it's, and it's effective as well. Like, when you when you, when you you hold the ball with, the, with your CMF, you can simply, when you do a 1-2 between CMF and LMF, you don't need to give the ball back to your LMF. That would be too predictable. 1-2 between CMF and LMF, and then boom, through ball to the striker. Or 1-2 between your CMF and and CF, and then boom, through ball to your LMF. So most of the time, use a 1-2 or pass a move or trigger run to decoy your opponent so he wouldn't know who is your target, who's a decoy. And Akena doing a lot of trigger runs, you know, holding L1 and flicking the right stick, it does mess up your opponent's um, defensive shape. And the other way, again here, you have two options. You, one thing I need to tell you, remember this, if you are playing any formation that has LMF and RMF, whether it's three at the back or four run three two or four triple two, feed your LMF and RMF. Trust me. Against you, you will most likely play against four three three, and in the midfield you're outnumbered. You're two against three all the time. So when you're on the ball, your your build up should always start you giving the ball to your LMF or RMF. Because there's a lot of gap between your midfield and your striker. Unless there's a clear chance. If there's a clear chance, you know, one pass from your CMF to your striker. If you do a 1-2 between CMF and CF, sometimes it's open. 1-2 between CMF and CF, boom, lofted ball. Or 1-2 between CMF and striker, bang, through ball to the flank. But make sure that your build-up kind of starts with your LMF and RMF. Not a lot of direct passes to your striker. And when you give the ball directly to your striker from your midfield... That shouldn't be your attack. Don't just turn and run with your striker. I'm saying this because against good players, 4 triple 2 can be a little bit predictable. And that is the con regarding 4 triple 2 Can be a little bit predictable, especially if you constantly just spam between strikers, 1-2, 1-2, 1-2. Your opponent will just really, you know, most, most people know how to dominate certain formations. And um, that's pretty much about the formation domination, guys. And remember, as I said... Um, the formations to beat for triple two, uh, four two three one, four two uh, four one two three, four two three one, three five two. Even a flat four three three can beat, can dominate for triple two. Like if you use counter target on both of your CMF, they will kind of act like AMF, but they have to be like skillful. Like if you're using a manager like Valverde, you should have a solid destroyer DMF, and your other two CMFs. You don't need powerhouses. You need fast, skillful midfielders. So you can make a 4-3-3 into AMFs as well. Otherwise, online, you know, I will make another, uh, I'll make a, um, certain videos about the best formations to use for online divisions once I start playing online divisions. Because I'm not going to just give you tips. I haven't played online divisions yet. 
I have set the formations with fluid formation as well. I got to play at least uh, 10 to 50 games and then I will get back to you on that. Now, there's a lot of more that I can say about the Fortune 2 formation, but I'm trying to make it a little bit simple because again, on my club, we all use different um we, we all use different players we all have different style of play different vision you know how to read your opponent and which advanced instructions when to use with your advanced instructions and if you check out the playlist pest 2019 and my club uh, tutorial and tips i have videos about formation advanced instructions um and i have a squad builder with santos as well but i may i may update that one hope you enjoyed the video dudes uh share and like to support the video um if you are not a subscriber drop us up and then turn your notification on so you won't miss my videos. And I'd like to thank all my subscribers for the great support. I've been Sep. Till next time. Ciao for now.